You know, Devontae Floyd, Leo Santa Cruz, who's a powerful Hall of Famer. He went up in ways, he fought Mario Barrios. But do you believe that um, Broly is actually the most, you know, the most, the strongest guy he's ever fought? Absolutely, hands down. Hands down. That's even, no even Mario Barrios? That's hands party? down. There's no question about that. That's not even something that's up for debate. And I would get so passionate if I didn't believe it. Listen, this is what I do for a living. You know, I don't get to the point in my life and my career not knowing what I'm looking at. By far, Roley is the strongest and the more, most explosive fighter that Tank has run into up to this point. And with Leo Santa Cruz, he's definitely going to be a Hall of Fame boxer. But what Leo Santa Cruz is known for is his conditioning, him being constantly, you know, accumulation of punches and having a lot of heart. And that's what's got him to this point. But he, what he's not necessarily known for is throwing power punches. He breaks guys down and he beats guys. And he's in a wonderful person. So I'm never going to take anything away from him. But I think by far this is the toughest, strongest fighter that Tank has been in the ring with. Well, the reason I had to ask you that, because remember, he did go up to 140 pounds to fight uh, Mario Barros, who was a lot bigger than Correct. him. But you still believe that Broly is a, a bigger uh, puncher than Barros? Hands down. Hands down. Wow. I'm yeah. not even, it's not even something for the beta in my eyes. Gotcha. And Barrios is an amazing fighter, too. I'm not taking anything away from him, either. And I think, in my opinion, and understand, I'm not in his team, but I think Barrios uh, was doing a wonderful job in that fight. I mean, all the way until the end, until he got caught. I think he was doing a wonderful job. I feel as if... Uh, did you have him winning at the time? Excuse me? Did you have him winning at the time? I did. If oh. I didn't have him winning, I had it close. You know, the same way with Lil Santa Cruz. I had, I had Lil Santa Cruz actually winning at the time. And... Uh, you know, Tank did what he did. So you can never sleep on a young man like that. And, and, and me saying what I'm saying about Roly, by no means, is that to uh, attack Barrios or Leo Santa Cruz, because I think they're both amazing fighters. I'm just focusing on the things that my fighter can do. Do you think Gervonta is going to be surprised by, you know, either Roly's power, his boxing ability? What do you think is going to surprise him the most? You know what? I don't really put a lot of, you know, energy into focusing on what he's going to be surprised with. Uh, I think what he's going to realize real soon is this isn't going to be a cakewalk. That uh, the fight not going to be uh, the type of fight that he may want it to be. Because uh, you got a guy in front of him who can athletically do a lot of things that can uh, deter you in a lot of ways. And so he's going to have to make adjustments. It's not going to be him simply walking in and let me get him out. It's going to be, I got to work for this. Granted, Gervonta did get a little bit of criticism when he fought Isaac Cruz. He did hurt his hand, yeah. um, but he did get a little bit of criticism for it. Yeah. Did, how did you kind of view that fight? Did you view him as, did you view that as a good performance? Did you view that as a shaky performance? How did you view it? You know, I was in the front, in the front row, actually, uh, when, at, in, in L.A. at Staples Center, when it was Staples Center. And so I had an opportunity to see him in camp at that time because he had came in for about two weeks of Sean Porter's camp. And I went to watch it because that same weekend was when Roley was supposed to fight him. So I went to just, you know, be there to support my, my guy, Barry Hunter, who was working the corner at that time. And so as I was watching it, I felt like he put on a good performance. Is it, I think the problem is uh, he didn't do what the fans wanted him to do. The fans wanted to see another knockout. The fans wanted to see one of those glorious moments, and they didn't get that. What they saw was a guy who put up a lot more resistance than they expected. And that resistance, instead of it lifting Pitbull, and saying, hey, he did, you know, a great job. They it kind of attacked him like, oh, he just did a piss poor job. No, that guy just did well. He, and he liked that he did bad. Tank fought well. He just fought better than what they expected. And I think that happens a lot of time in sports. When a guy doesn't do what you want him to do or what you expect him to do, you automatically and you instantly say he did a piss poor job. When he didn't, the other fighter just fought better. Gotcha. Now, Gervonta has fought guys like Pedraza, who tested him with his boxing ability. Right. He's fought guys like Cruz, like we just said, who tested him with his ability to pressure. But do you believe Gervonta has ever been tested with the guy in terms of punching power? We believe no. Chin has ever been tested. No. He's never been tested with a guy that can hit like Roland. Gotcha. He's never, hit, he's never been tested. I mean, he's been in there some champions. Don't misunderstand. And once again, it's not to take away from any of those guys. Those guys are great. It's a different type of fighter, right? That's like comparing cars, you know, between a Lamborghini and a Ferrari. They're both great cars. They're both fast. So one doesn't make it better than the other. They both, it's all about preference. So those guys did a great job. I just feel like at this point, the type of power and the type of strength that he can bring, that Roley has shown that he can bring into this ring, can give people problems. Gotcha. And just last thing for me, can I get an official prediction on how you see it playing out? You don't have to give me a round or anything like that, but just... How do you see it playing out? 
knockout. Appreciate you, brother.